You know, for a guy who said he would never collect things. Hey guys, Joe here. It is one o'clock in the morning and as we all know, the best decisions are made very early in the morning when you can't sleep because you're in pain. So, <laughs> look at all that stuff. Uh, I decided to go ahead and make that video I was talking about and show the Iron Man stuffs that I have. Iron Man things, Iron Man, you know what I mean. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to now disassemble my mighty wall of stuff because that's not where it's supposed to be anyways. I just set it up to take a picture and show my buddy and then we will kind of go through it starting with, um, I don't know, the the bigger stuff and then we'll end up with all the Funkos which are the most numerous items in my collection. So. Give me a minute, I'll be back with you as soon as I can because this may take me a few minutes. So one of the things, and it's right here, is when I was working at the flea market, or not working at the flea market, but when I was setting up at the flea market, I used to go walking around, and if I saw something for like, say, a dollar, I would pick it up. Unfortunately, during the move, I lost the little piece that went up here because it used to have a uh, button that you would push and he would speak, and this used to light up. But uh, yeah, I bought it for a dollar. This thing's kind of cool. This is a large plushy Avengers uh, Iron Man. It's large and unwieldy, and it never really has a good place to go, so it just kind of sits on the floor by the hallway. Plushy everywhere except for the head. For some reason, but uh, yeah, it's uh, it was a Christmas gift, and I like it, and it just it. <laughs> yeah, sorry, dude. So let's talk about the two next biggest things, and that is couple of gifts that I got as housewarming or apartment warming gifts and one is this uh, Iron Man poster it's uh, actually pretty nondescript as to which Iron Man it's supposed to be uh, it has a mix of a few different armors in it but the funny thing about it is if you look it's 3d and it's a uh, canvas or a uh, fabric that's been painted and then I'm sure it has plastic over the back or it's plastic pushed out or however they did it, but it's kind of cool. I haven't put any holes in my walls, so these aren't hanging yet. Plus I don't know where to put them because once I get a gun safe, it's gonna take up a big portion of the room. And then over there where all this stuff was sitting, I don't know if I wanna put it there. I think I wanna put computer stuff in that cabinet and maybe put the Iron Man stuff up on one of my, I don't know. We'll figure it out as we go along. Maybe a curio cabinet in the corner. Who knows? That's that's part of the fun of trying to figure stuff out. But the second one is a pretty damn big one. It's a silk screen printing and it covers a lot of the uh, most famous Iron Man covers from back in the day. Uh, it also has one of his most iconic suits, which really wasn't touched upon in the movies because well, it, the progression from the original suit to the uh, Mark 40, whatever it was, was pretty quick. So, uh, yeah, I like that. Um, it's reflective and shiny and again needs to be put up on a wall. But until then, it can sit. It doesn't harm anybody. Unless you make it angry. And then it will kill you. Do you know the Beanie Baby Company made Iron Man's? They do. It's kind of cool. It's actually not my only plushy plushy. I mean, it's the same plushy, almost the same kind of material as my big one, but uh, it's a smaller one. But I also have this one. Uh, it's another Funko, but it was called the Fabrications. Um, I guess it was a design that they were gonna try to implement, but they decided not to and they stopped. A lot of these got some damage in them from when I moved, unfortunately, but uh, I try to keep them in good shape, but the move, they got put in boxes, those boxes got put other places, and you know, over the years that these things sat in storage, a lot of them got damaged, including this one. And this one makes me very sad, Panda. This is a, um, called a Hikari Iron Man. And again, it's in my favorite version of the suit. I think Bob Layton created this one. And it's the, um, 
So you had the gray one was the first one, then you had an all gold version of the gray suit, which was the second one. The third one was similar to this, but it had a nose and rivets around the faceplate. So technically this is the fourth version of the suit, but it's really cool because it's uh, handmade and crafted, inspired by Japanese vinyl. I'm not sure what it all means, but it's another Funko. But if you can see here, this camera should be good enough now to pick that up, yeah. Again, another box I think came down on it and damaged it. Which is really sad because I actually make it a point to buy them sealed. GameStop tends to open these things for some reason and I hate that and it ruins them. And yeah, but again, when it got put away after some things happened, I uh, it got damaged. Can't really complain though. I mean, I can complain, I just did, but you know what I mean. Now to some, oh, these. They did a series called Titan Hero Series, and I have two different versions. You have this one, which is just a, another generic Marvel's Avengers one. And then you could actually get a discounted version of it, even though it's still made by Hasbro, but it's a much cheaper looking version of it. This was sold at Big Lots. Big Lots? Yeah, Big Lots. So this one came from Big Lots, and you can see it's a little bit cheaper looking. Uh, you can see, like, the paint isn't as good. And then obviously you have this one, which has really decent paint on it. Uh, yeah, so there is quite a noticeable difference. But, you know, it's Iron Man. Some weird stuff I found as I was looking around. Uh, I didn't pay $8 for it. My buddy just gave it to me. Uh, when I did a trade with them, but this is an Age of Ultron. A lot of these are Age of Ultron. That was a popular time. Uh, this is called the Body Knocker Solar Powered. So it's one of those ones that you put in the sun and, but uh, yeah, you're never getting out of there, Iron Man with giant head. Another Iron Man with giant head is this uh, pop spinner. And it's a, uh, try me push button. Oh, oh, the battery's dead. But it's one of those ones where it spins the sucker. I got this at a Best Buy. And alarmingly, the sucker has shrunk. That's scary. And sometimes when you're out and about, you find things that uh, you don't intend to find, which is a weird statement, but it holds true. I don't even remember where I found this. I think this was at a dollar store. It's called Heroic Age Iron Man. I think this one was at a dollar store. It's hard to remember where all of them came from, but I know it was a cheaper place. This one actually came from a Best Buy, and it was on sale for $5. Playmation, it works with Disney stuff. Hasbro Man, they made most of them, I think. It's a pretty cool looking version of his armor. Maybe the in-game version of this uh, looks like that. But uh, yeah, collect them all, it says. Okay, don't really care. Uh, this one definitely came from a Big Lots. You can tell because it says Big Lots. Uh, the sticker that's barely readable says $3.50 and I actually got it for $1.50 because it was on sale clearance. Another Iron Man. Seems everybody really likes that version of the uh, armor. You'd think that just the movies made him popular. Oh yeah, here's Sassy Iron Man. I got that for Christmas one year. If you look at the way the head's in there in the package, he's like, did you know Play School made Iron Man? That's right, a Mr. Potato Head Iron Man. You could actually collect three different versions of uh, Marvel characters and combine them and create whatever you wanted. So Cap, the Hulk, and Iron Man, you could create that. But yeah, that's a Mr. Potato Head Iron Man. Hey, there's a spectacular spider ham, Peter Porker. So don't give me crap. This is a Dorbs, Dorbs. Uh, it's kind of the super uber cutesy version of a Funko Pop. And a Funko Pop's already an uber super cute Squidgy version of these anyway, so yeah, I don't know. I was working at GameStop at the time and we were just putting them out, so had to buy it. Do you have your officially licensed Iron Man colored pencils? If not, I do. Uh, these actually came with the plush Iron Man, I believe, I think, yes. They gave them both to me at the same time. This one I picked up. Uh, what is this one? Okay. Honestly, I bought this and I never even looked at it. It's called the Iron Man Lip Smacker. Is that lip balm then? Hold on a second. The tagline on this is hilarious though. 
Enjoy the moisturizing power of Lip Smacker. Limited edition Iron Man Lip Balm Trio includes a cool keychain topper, his head, to connect to your favorite lip balm, so your lips will always feel invincible. This is the first time I've read this and I've had this for two years. Invincible chocolate. Yes, I remember when Iron Man added that to his suit. Billionaire root beer. He was an alcoholic. There was no root. Superhero punch. I'm pretty sure the guys over at Hawaiian Punch would take umbrage with that sentence. Still, it's pretty cool. Uh, there was another GameStop thing and I saw it said Iron Man and I was like, ooh. No idea where this one came from. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this was another Best Buy one. It was just sitting there. Uh, it's really funny because if you look at it, he's got a derpy neck. I'm not sure what the hell this thing is. It's a paperweight. It, it, it has no weight to it. But it's a paperweight. No, not paperweight. I mean, it weighs as much as paper. Have you seen the Civil War Iron Man Funko Pop head pin? That's right. Jesus. It's now occurring to me how many things were made by Hasbro slash Funko. Two separate companies milking us all together. Uh, I don't remember where I got this. It's a little dirty nowadays, because I've actually used it for its intended purpose, but it would probably clean up. An Iron Man coaster. I think my buddy Daniel gave that to me. He also gave me the Iron Man head, which has a chip in it. And chips up there. Aw. Oh, I'll have to get another one. Hey man, chill out. It's not a toy. Friends of the channel will remember these guys because I did two videos where I compared the candies in here, or not compared them, but reviewed the candies in here. This one had a fruit type snack and it actually was something my father brought me back from Afghanistan. Hey, that still works. Blinding light, anybody? And then he also brought, I, I, no, I bought this one, which is dead now. Eh, it's only been three years. This one had some nasty little bitey candies in it. Yeah, check out up here if you want to see one, the, the one that didn't get all the negativity. I don't understand why. One was very positively reviewed and one was accepted and one was negatively accepted. There was a firehouse volunteer uh, fundraising garage sale and I got the Iron Man head for a dollar. Inside of it, I had a couple of calculators. If you want to see my calculator collection, leave me a, leave me a, leave me a comment on that or a thumbs up, I'll judge it by thumbs up, since apparently people don't like to talk on the internet all of a sudden, unless you're being negative. You know who you are. This is the only Iron Man toy I have that's loose. Uh, again, I had a whole bunch of them, but I threw them away when I moved here because they were all really, really nasty and junky. I am Iron Man. Uh, this one. Iron Man armor, combat ready. Looks like he just got caught while he's in the bathroom taking a poop. You guys remember Disney Infinity? Iron Man does. It's a cool cartoon, cartoonized, cartoonized, cartoonized version of the Iron Man. It was traded in back when they still took them. Uh, it says it's for version 2.0, so yeah, I picked that up for like a buck and a half or something after it got traded in. Iron Man. Next, I got some of what they called the Legend series. And some of these are pretty cool. You've got ones like the Invincible Iron Man Legend series. It uh, just calls it the uh, Invincible Iron Man. It doesn't specify which version of it he is. The drawings kind of lead me to think it was more towards the um, Superior Iron Man time. And you had the Infinite series, Marvel Now Iron Man. Uh, the parts that were included in here were the ones to build the Hulkbuster and originally I was going to get them all but I didn't and I kind of regret it now because one of the other ones is the Infinite Series. This is the Age of Ultron uh, War Machine. Good implementation of the armor. Leave it in the comment if you know where the War Machine armor actually started from. Also the fact that it wasn't black and silver to begin with. But anyway, here's the Infinity War Iron Man, also part of the Legend series. Decent armor, takes into account uh, some of the 
different comic book adaptations of the armor because there's different storylines. Uh, one where he's where um, he's fighting somebody from Hammer or somebody from was it Hammer or was it uh, Stain? I can't remember which one, but he created a armor that went into his bones. Then he had a version of the armor from Extremis, so lots of different things, but yeah. This one my buddy gave me, he got this at a GameStop convention. It's the Mark I armor, also Legend Series. A uh, little worn on the edge here, but again, I don't care. It's it's the armor and the, the, the suit that I cared about, and I like it. This is a pretty rare one, actually. This is the Lego um, Iron Patriot armor from Iron Man 3, which again is a armor that's derived from the comic books, but not in the way it actually is, because in the comic books, uh, Norman Osborn took over all of Iron Man's assets or Tony Stark's assets and created a suit of armor called the Iron Patriots when he had the Dark Avengers. So completely different from the movie, but it looked the same, but here you go. There you go. Very rare. Um, I can't find my Silver Centurion armor one, which was another rare one. If I can, I will make an update and show that too for, you know, one toy, because why not? Before we get into the Funkos, which I know you guys are waiting for, this is gonna be a nightmare to edit, by the way. Uh, some games and movies and DVDs. So I picked this one up in West Virginia and it's a DVD with all of Iron Man's appearances through December of 2006. And you can even print them out. But uh, based on the cover art, I'm gonna say this was actually all the way up to Extremis, which is what the mind controlled Iron Man armor is all about. So that's cool. I've never even taken it out of the package I got it in. And no, I didn't pay 25 bucks. The guy was getting rid of his collection because he was done with it. He's actually still around selling stuff, but he doesn't buy new stuff anymore. So I don't have a reason to go see him very often. I've shown this already, just a DVD of Iron Man, got for a dollar. Now onto something slightly absurd. These are Iron Man games, including the DS one. So yeah, I do have multiple copies of Iron Man games. What happens is, and you can ignore these price tags, I usually got them for free in trades, but uh, what happens is I would go someplace, make a deal with one of my buddies or something, and uh, this isn't something that will always work for you, but you can try it. I don't do it on purpose, it's just routine. I'll make the deal and then I'll walk around the store and I'll usually find something three to five dollars and I'm willing to pay for it. I always take the money out of my pocket, but he usually just says, eh, just take it. So again, I'm not doing it on purpose and I think he knows that, which is why he gives me a better deal. Plus I give him a great deal on stuff when I find it. But yeah, these games literally suck. These games are horrible. I just have them because I'm an Iron Man fan. And why wouldn't you? Moving on. This is the only one in my collection that isn't actually Iron Man, but it's uh, Marvel Superhero Squad, which has Iron Man in it, so I made an exception. Although I usually keep that separate from the rest of my stuff. Now the moment you've all been waiting for. The Funkos. Let's go ahead and we'll just kind of work our way through them. And again, a bunch of these got damaged in moving or when they were in storage, and I apologize, not much I could do about that. But, uh, you know, you've got from Spider-Man Homecoming, you have the Tony Stark with the ugly ass glasses. Why they've started turning him into an uber hipster is beyond me, but whatever. The uh, Marvel Studios first 10 years collection, the Mark I armor, which is still one of the most badass things ever put on film. You can thank this man for really jump-starting the action-packed, not single individual version of the Marvel Universe because Spider-Man, yeah, they did it really well, but not as good as Iron Man. When Daniel's mom went to Disney World, they got me a really cool metal Iron Man keychain, which is cool. It's from Universal Studios, and it's Iron Man. Again, in the Bob Layton armor, which is the one I like the most. 90% sure it's Bob Layton. If I'm wrong, somebody correct me. 
uh, Age of Ultron came before Civil War, I think. Yes. So you have the Iron Man Mark 43 armor. The Mark 43 armor was the mind controlled one or the 3D controlled one from Iron Man 3. And you've got the Civil War Iron Man, which is basically the same, a couple of little bit differences. Uh, pretty nice looking one. Another Civil War one, you actually have War Machine. I only have a couple of War Machine items. They really don't make a whole lot of War Machine collectibles. Uh, as much as Don Cheadle tries to be badass, uh, playing second fiddle to the main character is kind of a hard, hard, uh, hard rope to tow. You know what I mean? And he does his best, but unfortunately, it uh, hasn't led to like a successful spin-off or anything. Oh, this one makes me feel so sad. I'm gonna try to fix this one. Yeah, I should actually take it apart and redo it so that the box has time to actually heal, which I'm actually gonna do, but I'm gonna show it to you real quick. This one is hard to get. It's the Venomized Iron Man. My buddy got it for me. He came into the store, he called me, and I picked it up that day. Had no choice, had to do it, and unfortunately, in moving, it got basically destroyed. And trust me, nobody's angrier about it than me. Eh, I think what I'll do is I'll put a few of them on top and hopefully it'll flatten out the top there. So why don't we start that now? There we go. You stand on top of him, you stand on top of him. Yeah, there you go. How about another one that was actually supposed to be pretty rare but didn't turn out to be? And that is the gold Civil War Iron Man. Don't know why they released this one so long after the first one, um, but because it's based on the Civil War armor, I guess people weren't as interested in it because I can still find that one in stores. Either that or they made way too many of them. So let's move into the ones I kind of intimated to in this video. And that is this Infinity War Iron Man. This is Iron Man without his helmet on, Tony Stark without his helmet on. Okay, you see that? And this is basically the exact same one, only he's wearing his helmet. This one was an exclusive, it was harder to get. This one is the one that you have gotten in your everyday searches. So, those are pretty cool. Stand together or fall alone. Here we have the Hulkbuster with the Hulk busting out of it. And you know what? This one's been opened before, which kind of makes me sad Panda, but again, I didn't get it when it first came out. I had to get it used, so yeah. But it's in good shape otherwise, and it's one that I really wanted. And I'm looking for the Hulkbuster still which is another standalone Max Fig or whatever they call them. As I intimated to in the other video, here's one I didn't even know existed, and that's a movie moment. Uh, first 10 years from Iron Man 2, it's Whiplash versus Iron Man when they were at the racetrack. And uh, this is the one that came in that collector core box, and that's cool. Uh, I guess that means it was an exclusive, I don't know. Yeah, you normally don't see them, the big ones like this in the GameStops, you have to find them at other places such as FYP and stuff. No, that's not the right way. And then the granddaddy of them all is my Hulkbuster versus Hulk, which is the other one I really wanted. So this one and uh, the Hulk busting out of the Hulkbuster were the two I asked my buddy to find me and he found me the other two, which was pretty badass of them. So yeah. I have no idea what these things are worth. Uh, I'm sure the ones with the damage packaging are worth less, but they're all still desirable collectibles. Uh, I tend to pick up the cheap ones when they're cheap, which usually isn't that often because most stores aren't selling Marvel branded anything at a reasonable price. In fact, Walgreens wanted $9 for the Iron Man ornament, which was just his head, and uh, it didn't get discounted after Christmas. It just got sent back, which made me, again, a little sad, but what are you going to do? 
I have no intention on selling any of these. I mean, I, I'd get rid of the Iron Man games if I have extras and something else comes along I want, but nothing else in this collection has a reason to be sold. I got them because I wanted to have them for me. That was the point. Um, I will say that if I can find like a better Venomized Iron Man, I will sell the one I have to make up for some of the difference, but I will always have a Venomized Iron Man in my collection. I sold one of my Iron Man collectibles, and even now to this day, it makes me sad, and that was the 18 inch vinyl marble, whatever it was called, of the Bob Layton classic Iron Man figure and I'm looking for one. So if you have one, send me a message. If you want to donate one, send me a message faster. Last thing real quick, and then I'll let you guys go. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed. That way you can see more randomness from this channel. I'm not going to lock into a certain style because damn it, it's more fun this way. Tell your friends, tell your enemies, tell your enemies' friends, tell your friends' enemies to get subscribed to my channel because by you subscribing, and that's all you have to do. I'm not asking you to donate, I'm not asking you to join Patreon, none of that stuff. By just hitting the subscribe button, you're gonna help me make this channel better because once I can re-monetize the channel, I can do things like go out hunting. You know, let's say that I get a uh, $200 check from AdSense. That's $200 we can take out and go looking for video games, or I can buy power programmer for the Mustang and show you how to program your, your chip on your computer or another gun because there's some guns out there that are 99 bucks so maybe we'll get two of them and see which one's better. I don't know. I want to figure that out. I want you guys to come along and I want you to have say in it. So go ahead and do that. Let me go down below. Also, uh, Facebook. I have a page. Don't really go on it much. Uh, if you guys want to start getting active on there with me, let me know and I'll start doing that on a more uh, regular basis including Instagram and Twitter again I kind of surged on it and then I fell back off because it wasn't going anywhere I need your help this isn't just a one-man show it's all of you guys plus me so let's get this going subscribe like comment share uh, hire a skywriter over Miami put it up in the air film it let me know and as always I'll talk to you later